Most human cells have a built-in lifespan of around 40 to 60 divisions, but not all cells. Cancer cells grow relentlessly and have ways to get around this limit. One of the keys to understanding how our healthy cells stop behaving properly is found right on the ends of our chromosomes, our telomeres. But paradoxically, people with either very short or very long telomeres are at increased risk of developing cancer. So, what's going on here? Researchers believe that telomeres act as a built-in defense mechanism to prevent tumor growth. Each time a cell divides, its telomeres get shorter. And when they're too short, that's a signal to the cell that it's time to retire. That means the cell either becomes senescent, stops dividing and stays in place, or undergoes apoptosis when the cell is programmed to die so it can be cleared away and replaced. The idea is that the more times a cell has divided, the more likely that it acquired a dangerous mutation along the way. Since unexpected mutations in a cell can lead to cancer, a program limit to the number of times a cell can divide provides an important barrier to tumor growth in species with long lifespans such as ourselves. While this may stop many potential tumor cells in their tracks, the mechanism obviously isn't perfect. There are a few clever workarounds that allow cancer cells to continue multiplying. One way is with a mutation that prevents the body from detecting very short telomeres in a cell. Instead of being flagged for retirement, such cells can keep on dividing, creating more and more of the malfunctioning cells. Most cancers carry these kinds of mutations. A common one is when the p53 tumor suppressor gene stops functioning properly. But with their relentless growth, cancer cells would quickly burn through whatever length of telomere they had left without a way to buy more time. This is why many cancers also show increased production of telomerase, the enzyme that increases the length of telomeres. Around 80% of cancers have significant telomerase activity. The very short telomeres found in people with telomere biology disorders are associated with increased risk of certain cancers, including acute myeloid leukemia and some solid tumors. Whereas very long telomeres are associated with cancers like melanoma and lymphocytic leukemia. This is what's known as the telomere length paradox. And it's one of the reasons why telomere measurement is such an important area of research. For optimal human health, we want to be in a Goldilocks zone, where our telomeres are neither too long nor too short for our age. And as telomere research moves forward, it may one day be possible to not only detect, but perhaps even alter dangerously long or short telomeres to help fend off cancer. All this telomere research rests on our ability to accurately measure these tiny structures. In the next episode, we compare methods and explain why Flowfish is currently the best method for clinical and many research applications.